Hey guys, I wanted to get on here um, and just do a quick video. It is National Infertility Awareness Week and I wanted to share my story with you guys. So um, I don't know if you know this, but one in eight couples struggle with infertility and me and my husband are the one in eight people who struggle. So um, our story is that we had been trying to conceive for about a year when um, we realized that something was wrong. I was doing two different apps on my phone. I was doing ovulation predictor kits. I was Googling everything possible to try to successfully conceive and nothing was working. Um, it became pretty apparent after a while that something just wasn't right. So we decided to make an appointment with my OBGYN. We went in, we took work off. We were so excited to tr try to finally get some answers to help us. Um, and Unfortunately, we were immediately told we needed to go see a fertility specialist. We were crushed. We felt like we had no answers. We were going to have to wait again for another four, four weeks to get in to see the specialist. Um, you know, and it was it was frustrating. But we're so glad that we did because we turn, it turned out that our fertility specialist is amazing. We had an immediate, immediate connection with her. We loved her. Um, we loved her plan for us. And we just felt super safe and comfortable with her. So she said that... We needed to first start out with a couple of different things. So we did blood work for me. They wanted to check my vitamin D, my egg count, my thyroid, my um, um, uh, prolactin, and a couple other things that normally wouldn't show up on regular blood work that you would get like um, if you were just getting a physical. Because I had a physical every single year and everything on my blood work was normal. Um, I had not, I never had any issues. Mason, come here. This is my fur baby. Um, and so we did that and I also did an ultrasound. She wanted to make sure that there was no abnormalities or cysts or anything like that. Um, and my ultrasound turned out great. Um, she also wanted to take a look at some, some things for my husband too. So after a couple weeks, we met back up to look at all the results. And one of the things on the result was that it turned out that I, I had high prolactin. Prolactin is a chemical released by your pituitary gland that's in your brain, um, in your head. Um, and what it does is it's normally released when you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Um, and I was not pregnant or breastfeeding. So it was very abnormal that it was high. So we double checked it and it was high again. So, um, she said that the next step was for me to get an MRI to look for a pituitary tumor. I was crushed. I never thought in a million years that we would have trouble getting pregnant. And I never thought that I would have a brain tumor. It was very scary. Um, and so we had the MRI and it turns out I do have a pituitary tumor. It's benign, so it's not cancerous. It's five millimeter by seven millimeter. Um, your pituitary gland is super, super tiny. It's kind of right straight behind your eyes back here. Um, and what was happening was the tumor was putting pressure on my pituitary gland. It was causing my pituitary gland to release too much prolactin. Prolactin was signaling to my ovaries, um, not to release an egg every month like it's supposed to. Um, and consequently, I had super high egg count. Um, like if a normal count was one to three, I had over five. So I had a, so many eggs um, because my body was just holding on to them for some reason. I don't know. Um, so our doctor told us that we were good candidates for IUI. So we did one cycle of IUI and unfortunately it was unsuccessful. It was very awful. We were hoping that, you know, it would just be easy and we would just we would do the procedure and we did everything right that we were supposed to and it just, it didn't work. And so we were set up to do the second one, um, the second month cycle. And unfortunately it was paused because of the coronavirus. And so um, that's, everything's been on pause since then. And all the other couples that are doing IVF and IUI and any kind of fertility thing has been, has mostly been put on hold from everyone that I've talked to, which is just terrible because all these people really just want to have a baby and it's, it's sad, but at the same time, I understand we have to do what we have to do to protect everybody. Um, but I just wanted to share my story. Um, I hope that it will help somebody or bring awareness to infertility and how common it is. Um, I had made a post a couple months ago or a month or two ago about a poem that I wrote. And I had so many people reach out to me that shared their stories with me. And they were so, so encouraging. And also people who wanted to hear my story who, you know, might have who were maybe going through the same thing and who were scared and on this journey. And